the season in a nail-biting match against the Melton Thoroughbreds at the Hot House on Saturday night. A buzzer beater to the visitors saw them win the round three match by three points. The visitors got off to a strong start on Saturday night, dominating all aspects of the match to lead by 17 points at half time. But the start of the second half saw the Heat's US imports Calvin Henry and Reggie Fuller gain momentum to help the home side get within nine. The Heat continued to fight back in the last quarter, with Henry levelling the scores for the first time with a minute left on the clock. While the Heat listened to the crowd, so too did the visitors, with the pressure proving too much for Brent Simons in the dying seconds of the match. Thoroughbreds import Anthony Kimball stayed cool under pressure, hitting his fifth three-pointer to take his side to a three-point lead. The visitors were quick to celebrate, but the Heat didn't give up, calling a timeout with 0.9 of a second left on the clock. We've got 0.9, we've got to catch and shoot. I want Calvin there, I want Reggie there. Come off one, two, look for him there. Reggie pop to there, it's going to be very simple. But strong defence ensured the home side strategy didn't go to plan, earning the Thoroughbreds a round three win. We knew what we had to do. We couldn't quite stick to it for four quarters, so we let them back into the game. But we knew if we stuck to our stuff, um, play good hard D, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna challenge both teams. Julie McCallum says with two great imports, the Heat remains a strong contender in the Big V competition. They're a quality team. They're always going to come back. Um, we knew at halftime this game wasn't over, so um, and yet they proved it. The Heat has a bye this weekend before hitting the road for round five. Emily White, with news. So, Rachel.